Shakari Richardson is a 23-year-old black female track and field sprinter. She gained fame in the track world after breaking the record for the 100-meter dash, running it in 10.75 seconds as a freshman at Louisiana State University. In 2021, she broke her own record with a 10.72 second run, becoming the sixth fastest woman of all time. Richard Richardson had qualified for the 2020 Summer Olympics after winning the 100 meter dash in the Olympic trials. Richardson was then disqualified from competing in the Olympics after a drug test coming back positive for cannabis use and traces of THC. Shakari completed a counseling program where she accepted a one month suspension by the United States Anti-Doping Agency. The 100 meter dash was within the one month period, so sadly she did miss the Olympics. There was a lot of disappointment surrounding Richardson's suspension as people found it extreme, especially since there was no trace of performance enhancers in her drug test results. Richardson released a statement that she did shortly use cannabis to deal with the pressure of qualifying for the Olympics at the same time her biological mother had just passed away. Although Shakari did break a rule, a high number of people argued that those rules are outdated as well as overlooked when it comes to some other, most likely white, athletes. For example, according to the BBC, figure skater Camila Villeva drug tested positive for trimetazidin, which is used in prevention of angina attacks, but is on the ban list because it is classed as a cardiac metabolic modulator and has been proven to improve physical efficiency. Velieva was initially suspended, but her suspension was lifted a day later so that she could compete at the Beijing Winter Olympics. The first connection to the course that I make to this event with, with Shakari is the concept of jockey syndrome. Author William Roden coined this term to refer to how sports have continually altered their rules and regulations to exclude black people and to also preserve the power of white people. The term is a nod to Isaac Murphy, who was a black horse jockey that won multiple races until black jockeys were bullied by white jockeys and systematically banned from the Kentucky Derby. White athletes like Camila Villeva have their drug tests overlooked, where Shakari is punished for her minor drug offense. Another connection to be made is Shakari Richardson to boxer Jack Johnson. Johnson was famously hated at the time he was competing as a boxer in America. The film Unforgivable Blackness portrays how colorism and racism funneled a lot of disliking towards Johnson since he was darker skinned, bald, and bulky in build. Richardson had a similar response due to her long, colorful hair and lashes, tattoos, fishnets, and long nails she wears while competing. People created a preconceived notion that she is an irresponsible person who deserves to be suspended, almost like they expect nothing more from someone who looks that way. She is not a typical clean-cut white athlete, and that confuses and angers many racist viewers. As discussed in class, black women are among some of the most highly judged and mistreated athletes in sports. Athletes like Serena Williams are constantly bombarded with questions of doping and not even being a real woman since she is so good at her sport. Even though Shakari only tested positive for THC, which is not even a drug that enhances athletic performance, she was still suspended and heavily judged for this. Personally, I think Shakari is receiving more hate than she deserves because she is a black woman who is so good at her sport that viewers want to knock her down a few pegs. They do not wish to see a black woman succeed so highly. The Olympics official website posted this quote for Sh- from Shakari. To be an Olympian, that was the ult- always the ultimate goal. Richardson said, adding that she's happy to have struggled to-, to get to the point where she is now. I would tell my younger self that everything you've gone through, everything you don't even understand, now it all pays off when you least expect it. That's what I'll go back to.